Hi Kimi, time's up. Ready to go? Yeah, I'm coming. Set. Come on, we are late. We have to go. Yes, I'm coming. I'm coming. We are right on time. Let's go. Okay. It's a great day for a try. Yeah, I think you're right. I think the California tea is the perfect car to have some fun with this weather. I might even take the roof down. Okay, let's go. Okay. Yeah, well. Well, you have some lap on the track yeah, with a beautiful car. Okay, we go, we are late. Welcome to the launch of the 2016 Ferrari Formula One car, live from Marinello, Italy. Let's start by introducing Maurizio Arriva Bene, the team principal and managing director of Scuderia Ferrari. Good afternoon, uh, good evening for some of you, and uh, good morning for some other, uh, from some other. I, I know that we are uh, connected uh, with a lot of you in uh, all, all over the world. Uh, but uh, let me please talk in Italian because uh, the Ferrari brand, uh, it's a worldwide brand, uh, but we are an Italian team. So, volevo presentarvi. So, first of all, I would like to introduce and present uh, our car, new car. Is it a racing car? Well, it is too little, I think. Its name is Ferrari. And uh, I think that this goes beyond the concept of a race car. Well, we hope that this will be a winning car and it will be a myth for us. So, this car is the result of the commitment of many, many people, logistics, here we are in the logistics department in Maranello and uh, this car will head off to Barcelona in a few hours and there we will test its real value. So this is the result, the outcome of many, many people and their commitment starting from our president, our chairman, who gave us all the tools and instruments and uh, who allowed us to make a great auto, a great car. So, 
it was not a chance that we were so successful. There are a lot of people here in Maranello. Some of them are not so well known because they do not get on track, for example. But they are very, very important. They play a capital, a crucial role in all the departments. Wind tunnel, for example, designing projects for chassis, car frames, etc. So they really make their contribution and they have a great passion. And uh, we think that they really contribute to our name and to our brand, Ferrari. So I would like to introduce uh, the real protagonists, Sebastian Vettel and Kimi Raikkonen. Ferrari drivers for 2016, both world champions, Sebastian Vettel and Kimi Raikkonen. Okay, first question to Sebastian. Here we have your new car, the SF16H, for this year's World Championship. What are your impressions? Well, I think, first of all, it looks beautiful. I think, uh, as Maritza touched on, obviously, there's been a lot of work going on, and uh, I think it's uh, very, very exciting times. So, uh, to really uh, define my uh, yeah, uh, impressions, I think uh, we'll have to wait and uh, go on the track. But uh, by now, I think it's a beautiful car and should... Uh, should be a decent step, step up. You managed to win three races last season. How high are you setting your goals for this year? Well, I think naturally goals are, uh, goals are growing. I think uh, we had a fantastic uh, year last year, obviously my first season with the team. So uh, yeah, uh, naturally we all want more. Last year we finished second overall in the constructors. So there's only one more step, uh, which is a difficult one to take, but hopefully uh, this car helps us uh, achieving it. It's your second season with Ferrari. In what areas do you see the team growing? Um, to be honest, I think we've improved in, uh, in, in, man, in many areas. Obviously, uh, when I came, came in, uh, more or less at this time last year, uh, with a lot of uh, you know, people changing their position and uh, yeah, in, new, in new positions, um, I think it was a, a difficult time to really have some expectations. Now I think we had a much better winter to prepare and uh, therefore, uh, I think, uh, yeah, we will be a strong team, as we've seen already last year, but uh, even stronger this year. Okay, thank you. Now let's turn to Kimi Räikkönen. And Kimi, this is the sixth time you've launched a Ferrari Formula One car. What are your thoughts on this one? Of course, it's, uh, it's a new year, new car. Obviously, they all look uh, slightly different, and uh, it's exciting to see always a new, new car to come alive. And uh, obviously, we have a lot of expectations for the new car, and it looks great. So uh, uh, we have to wait until we get to the circuit and uh, get, uh, get some laps done. But so far, everything is, uh, is, uh, is very good, and uh, hopefully, hopefully it gives us a lot of success. What goals have you set for yourself personally and for the team this season? Obviously, for myself, I want to do well and uh, win races and fight for championships. So, let's see what we can do. But obviously, it's, it's a very early days and we haven't uh, run the car yet, even a single lap. So, uh, uh, we wait and uh, see how we start with testing and then go from there. But uh, I'm sure we'll, we will be ready for the start of the year. Well, thank you very much to the drivers. We'll see you again shortly. Maurizio, so, to the drivers, please. Maurizio, do the driver's goals line up with your own? I mean, uh, of course, uh, we are a team and uh, we, all, we, all have the, we all have the same goal. We, we go to the races respecting our, our competitors and uh, recognizing their value, especially, especially the guy that won the championship last year. But we are all committed to do better and better and better. We don't go to the, to the races uh, uh, with a big, big statement, but for sure we go there with uh, a big, big commitment. And uh, as I said many, many times in Italian, uh, humility is our drive, uh, passion and uh, commitment. And uh, in Italian, piedi per terra e a testa bassa. Okay, Maurizio, we've heard from the drivers. Now let's hear from the men behind the design and development of this new Ferrari SF16H. Technical director, James Allison, director of power unit, Mattia Bonotto, and chief designer, Simone Resta. James, take it away. Tell us all about your new baby. 
Well, this is a very, very exciting day for us, not just because we have the pleasure and the privilege of showing the whole world what we've been doing for the last year, but also because, believe it or not, this is actually the first day that we see the finished product in front of us, fully ready to go. We've seen it many, many times, first of all, in our imagination, on CAD screens, on engine dynos in the wind tunnel, in production. But this, this morning, we see it for the first time along with all of you. And I have to say, looking at it today, I feel very, very happy, extremely proud of the work of all the people here at Maranello, and I can't wait to take it racing. I'd love to be able to show you all of the things that we put into this car at a technical level. There isn't time for that, but what I can do is pass you over to Simone Resta, the chief designer, and to Mattia Benotto, head of the power unit, to tell you a bit more of the key features of our new Ferrari. Grazie, James. So, thank you very much, James. So, the project of this car started one year ago, and the direction uh, was very, very ambitious, and our goals were very, very ambitious. So, we tried to revisit and to review everything, all the parts. So what are the areas that we changed? So first one is uh, the nose and then the front suspension and also side parts, the power unit and also the rear end. Let's start from the nose. So today we have something which is quite different. So this level is higher, as you can see, and the airflow is quite different. This solution is slightly different from last year, and uh, uh, it is very important. It, is, it has got a very, very positive impact on our aerodynamics. After four years of, uh, uh, of pull road, we changed, and we have now a front suspension, so a push road. So it is quite different, uh, and the weight is better, and the cinematics is also quite different. So it is a step forward compared to last year and the previous models. And another important part are the side parts, as you can see here. So the radiators are different here, and the body car is quite different from last year. We tried to take advantage of the cooling system, so power unit. Power unit, we cannot say it because it is covered by the body, car body, but it is at the center of the car and it is the heart, the beating heart of our car. Compared to last season, we worked above all on two areas. First of all, encumbrance and architecture. So we tried to compact them in order to have a positive impact on aerodynamics. So the car is tighter and narrower compared to last year. So we tried to displace, we tried to move all the accessories and encumbrance is reduced, was reduced. But we did not work only on architecture, but we also tried to improve combustion, for example, and inlet aspiration, for example, and also the turbo. But this is a first step compared to the past, a step forward. So we made very important technical choices and very, very innovative choices. As Matthias said, the team plays very, very important. It was a great work. So we carried out a great job and all the men working at the power unit department worked together. So we created this line at the rear end which is quite different from last year, but we also worked on the front end. So we tried to optimize, for example, the weight and also aerodynamics and airflow. So these were our goals and objectives. In the last slide, we can take a look at this part, the rear end. This is a detail of the suspension and of the, of the bottom part of the car. Ms. Alison, Mattia Binotto and Simone Resta, please stay with us. Now we have something a bit special. Ferrari ran a contest online, Ready, Set, Red, inviting fans to submit questions to the drivers and key figures at today's launch. It generated 900,000 interactions on Facebook and Instagram with 360,000 interactions on Twitter. So let's bring back Maurizio and the two drivers at this point. And let's start with our first question, which comes from Cyril Grivard from France, and this one is to Maurizio. To Maurizio Arriva Bene, last year before the start of the season, 
you plan three victories. What about this year? Uh, normally, I'm, I'm not setting the, obje the objective. It's my boss who, who set the objective for the team. I mean, last year, uh, the objective was a uh, three victory. We got it, uh, but I think uh, this year it's uh, we need to push a bit more. So it's going to be the championship. At least uh, we would like to fight uh, until the end uh, for the championship. I know that is not a, it's not going to be easy because our competitors, uh, they are not sleeping at all or are there to look uh, what we are doing. But for sure, we are all committed to, to do our, our best. Thank you for that, Cyril. Now Ahmed Refai from Kuwait, who has a question for Kimi. To Kimi Raikkonen, do you expect to see Kimi 2007 once again? Thank you. Well, obviously, I'm still the same guy, uh, just uh, some years older, and uh, so the, the aim is to do well and uh, have a strong season. So let's wait and see what happens. Thank you for that, Ahmed. Vito Maria Rizzi from Italy has a question for James. This is my question for Mr. Allison. Dear James, you came back in Ferrari in 2013. In which area do you think Ferrari improved more since the introduction of new rules in 2014? And uh, where has Ferrari to improve in order to be at the same level of the competitors? Thank you. I think it's probably fair to say that back in 2013, Ferrari was not at the right level, not at the championship level in probably anything except maybe doing pit stops very quickly. Uh, so we didn't have enough power in 2014, we didn't have enough downforce, our kinematics on our suspension were not ideal, and, and our packaging left a lot to be desired as well. We've worked very hard, the whole team has worked very hard on all those areas. Last year was a decent step forward, and we hope that this car will be another good step forward, another step to make us properly competitive. But it isn't true to say that one area has, uh, has done any better than any other area. We've improved across the board, horsepower, downforce, handling, everywhere. And, uh, and all our hopes are in this car, and I think we're very proud of what we've done, and we can't wait to see it running on the track. Thank you, Vita Maria. Now let's go over to Stefano Cesarego in Brazil, who wants to ask Sebastian a question. Question to Sebastian Vettel. Which uh, superpower would you like to have for the new car? Well, if I, since I can choose with your question, uh, I guess uh, if we win all the races, then we have a fairly, fairly good chance to win the championship. So, uh, yeah, uh, if that could be a superpower just to be quicker than all the, all the other cars out there, then uh, I think it uh, makes our life uh, quite a bit easier. Thank you, Stefano. Emilio Bernardi is here in Italy. Your question for Simone, please. To Simone Resta, in your opinion, which is the most beautiful car in our Formula One history? Well, I have to say every, every Ferrari car is beautiful, it's fantastic, but uh, this one is particularly beautiful. Thank you, Emilio. Uh, Mattia, the next question is for you and it comes from Geke Hogenboom in Germany. To Mattia Binotto. How is it possible to improve your power unit without a big change in rules? Well, first of all, we had a big change in the rules now two years ago, 2014, and the rate of development has been very high since 2014. I think it was quite obvious looking at the cars on the track. No doubt that in the future there will be a naturally performance or convergence uh, as well between engines and manufacturer, but there will be always room for improvement. I think we are not yet at the maximum level of performance that we can get from that, that regulation. Thank you, Geke. Now another question from France, from Charles Dominique. He wants to quiz Kimi. Kimi, do you think Mauricio's reorganization and a rival of Sebastian had an impact on your driving behavior? Well, I don't think it changed my behavior driving but obviously changed a lot uh, the team and uh, since Mauricio came there has been a change and uh, a change is and um, it's, it's uh, actually it's been working very well and 
change the let's say the atmosphere in a team. We we work as a one one unit, one team now. And with Sebastian, we have a good relationship. Obviously, we try to beat each other on the, on the races and on the circuit. But uh, you know, it's been a very very pleasant uh, uh, to work with uh, those two. Thank you, Charles. James, the next one is for you. This comes from Danilo Indelicato here in Italy. James Allison, do you think this year's project is at the height of Mercedes? Well, it's, uh, it's very difficult to make predictions about that. Uh, we know Mercedes were very strong last year, very strong the year before. But we also know that we have extremely talented people here at Maranello. And we've put nearly a thousand man years of work into this car. And we've done our absolute best to try to make this one step up, to make this one a bold step forward, to give it the competitive that it needs, competitiveness that it will need to be a proper winning car. I hope we've done enough, but uh, we'll only really know for sure once we start racing it. But I can tell you with absolute confidence that the love and care and effort and skill that has gone into this car is beyond question. Thank you, Danilo. Sebastian, another one for you now. This one's from Finland. Welcome, Erja Poitalasko. To Sebastian Vettel, you have a summer villa in Finland. How often do you can spend time there? Well, Seb, I, I know you don't want to talk about that specifically, but maybe you could tell us a little bit about why you like Finns so much. Uh, well, I get along very well with Kimi, so uh, it's uh, like you said, obviously our relationship is very good. And usually I get along well with the uh, Finnish people. I uh, yeah, happen to work with Finnish trainers now for quite a while looking after me. And uh, usually it's because they don't ask so many questions. So uh, I think that's an exception. <laughs> Thank you very much, Eja. And the last fan question is also from Finland. And thanks to Ina Hunamareni. And this one is for you, Maurizio. To Maurizio Arriva Bene. What are Ferrari's strengths compared to their rivals? Thank you. Well, I mean, uh, you, I let you know on Monday, on Monday evening after the first day of the test in Barcelona, but I think uh, our strengths is uh, the teamwork. Uh, it's uh, the, the effort that everybody they're putting into the, into the job that they do every day and uh, especially all conscious uh, uh, of the name of the team that we are representing, that is Ferrari. This is a big responsibility that is giving to all of us uh, a, a commitment uh, and uh, also the, the power inside us to, to push uh, at 120% uh, to do our job uh, with dignity and to represent uh, the, the color of Ferrari at the top. Thanks for the question, Ina. So that's it for the launch of the Ferrari SF16H. And to close today's event, a final thought from you, Maurizio, as you sign the screen together with your colleagues. OK. There we go. Well, thanks to all the fans for taking part in Ready, Set, Red. And thanks to you for watching. The car is now heading directly to Barcelona for eight intensive days of pre-season Formula One testing, starting on Monday. Ciao e auguri. Goodbye.